So right now we are getting right into the thick of tax season, right? I mean, really, you know, it's January 16th today. It's kind of already begun. So you're probably sitting there thinking, okay, like I've got all these people that are getting ready to come in, obviously tax season, crazy time or whatever. But what a lot of people fail to think about is, okay, tax season's coming. So I'm just going to buckle down and get through it. It's actually the time of the year where you have like the absolute best opportunity to grow the business because there's such a rabid heat and fury of small business owners. It's on their mind. They're thinking about it. They've got to get it done. They're they're coming in. There's just so many inbound leads and so much inbound interest. But I wanted to talk for a few minutes about how to look at these opportunities. And so, you know, when you have somebody coming in, you know, and in the past, let's say you've normally just, okay, well, hey, you know, send me your information. Um, you know, some of you out there get every single person to sign an engagement letter. Some people just start doing the work. You really have to start looking at every single one of these coming in as an opportunity. And especially like, and, and think of it like that. Okay, this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity. This is an opportunity. And how good are these different opportunities? Like how many of them are just standalone individual tax prep clients with no business? How many of them are bigger businesses? And how should I treat those differently? And what I would say is that if you have anybody that's a Schedule C or a business return, they're doing over $100,000 a year in salary and profit, I would set up a call with them right at the beginning of the engagement. And I would do an assessment for them in that one hour, right? A one hour assessment. I'll even show you some of the stuff that we do. And in that one hour assessment, you wanna tell them, okay, how much based on them working with their previous accountant. Now, if you have existing clients, you don't wanna say this, but working with their previous accountant, how much do you estimate they overpaid in taxes last year, 2019? What do you estimate they're on track to overpay this year in 2020 if they don't change things, just doing what they're currently doing? And then what about when we think about you know, what they're on track to overpay next year based on their projections. So we go through this whole process of asking them all these questions. We go through deductions, legal entity structure, retirement, insurance, loopholes, the tax cuts and jobs act to give them estimated amounts they could save. Now, even though it's tax season and you're thinking, oh, I'm just going to do the work and charge them for the tax trip. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. On that call, when that call finishes, you want to charge them for the 2020 tax planning, if you see an opportunity to save them at least $7,500, okay? If you could save them at least $7,500 or more, we're gonna charge them for tax planning. Then we're gonna have a separate preparation fee for the preparation of the 2019 return. So we're gonna have the 2020 planning fee and the 2019 um, preparation fee. That's what they're gonna pay. Now, if they if they want, we're first off gonna ask for that completely upfront. So let's say you could save somebody 15,000, you charge them 5,000 for the planning, 2,000 for the business return for the previous year, and 1,000 for the uh, individual return from the previous year. That right there is a total of $8,000 that they're paying. And you said you could save them $15,000. So they're paying $8,000 right there, but you saved them fifteen dollars in 2020. And you're doing all the 2019 prep and you're doing the 2020 planning. And you even want to tell them that, hey, we're going to do the 2020 planning. We're probably not going to finish that until May because I want to make sure we focus on the preparation first. But there's a couple things I want to go through between now and then just to make sure we have you covered and we get things done before the year gets too far along. And so... Every single one of these is an opportunity, not just for the preparation, but also for the planning. So hope that's helpful. Keep you guys in mind. And yeah, um, that's something that, you know, really, I don't think a lot of people think about. They're just going through the process. They're just out there, you know, trying to do another preparation and they're not actually taking a step back and realizing all these people coming at you, right? All these people that have it on their mind, they're coming in for tax preparation. They're not expecting the planning, but it's all about the value. And I'm going to show you this real quickly. So you can see this here. So you can see here, this is an example of, okay, 2019, how much should we estimate they overpaid? 2020, what do we estimate they're on track to overpay? And 2021. And so we take a look at all of these and we basically figure out, okay, based on these three different time frames right here, I estimate I could save you the 18,000 in this example, 382 in the current year, and we price it accordingly. Now that's one deck, one slide pre deck of a slide presentation that's 160 slides we go through. Now you might be saying, Andrew, I don't have any time for this. It's tax season. Well, remember when I talked about that example, say charge them 5,000 plus 3,000 for the prep on the business and the individual, that's 8,000. How many $650 business returns do you have to do to get that one client? Well, let's do the math. So if you take 8,000 divided by 650, that's 13 clients, 12, 12 clients. So you could, 12 clients could go away. As long as you get one good deal, you're all set, okay? So it's, it, you gotta start thinking like that. And then what you do is you don't get rid of the 650. You know what you do? You tell the 650, it's 1200. Double the fees on the other tax returns. And so that's what I have a lot of people do when they go through. And typically we start this process in Q4 last year, but some of you guys are late to the process if you're watching this video. 
And once you win a couple of those tax planning engagements, you start to realize, gosh, I could double the fees on the next 12 clients. And if seven of them stay, I'm going to make the same in revenue, but have half as many clients. And so you start rinsing out the tax base and you start growing the revenues of it with the planning, the increased prep fees, and you have fewer number of clients as you grow. So doesn't that sound like more fun to work on? I mean, seriously, think about it. Now I know there's all sorts of resistance. My clients aren't going to do that and blah, blah, blah. I promise you they will. I promise you they will. You never sat down with them, right? You never sat down with them. You never went through and did this with them. Here's the other one too. When you go through with the people that are brand new, you tell them, what did you pay your accountant last year? That's not what you paid him. You only paid him a couple hundred bucks, right? That's not what you paid him. You paid him that plus whatever you overpaid in 2019. That's what you really paid him. It's just that they split that with the IRS because they didn't know exactly what they were doing. You can see I put these little yellow slides at the top because I want to make sure my people put those in there. So if you want to go through taxis, I mean, honestly, if we do this right now, right? If you sign up, there's an application below this video. If you sign up to work with me, we will get you this exact presentation, all the pricing stuff you need for tax season in the next 72 hours, literally three business days, okay? We'll get that set up. So every single business owner and business return and schedule C, you're going to go through that process and you're going to push prices up on everybody else all tax season. Doesn't that sound like more fun other than, okay, okay, I got to go back through. I got to go back to and do this again. And it's going to be terrible. And I'm not going to see my family. Uh, or am I going to do something interesting? So if you want to do something interesting, um, apply. You'll come in. We have a little presentation we do. shows you how, how it works to work with us. And I'd love to have you be one of the people that we changed the game with this year. So go ahead and sign up on the other side, and I will talk to you soon.